Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another beautiful Scorpio love reading. Scorpio, this is the end of May reading for you. Uh, I guess the next video after this will possibly be your June reading video, uh, but I have a feeling based on your energy that June is going to be a beautiful blossoming month for Scorpio. I kept seeing a lot of victory, a lot of success in your energy. I started seeing a lot of wishes being fulfilled, pre-shuffling your energy. Uh, some wishes coming true, uh, contentment, uh, peace. Now, I know this is not going to be for every single Scorpio. Uh, it's a general reading, Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, as a matter of fact, I recalled a viewer in the comment section saying, uh, brown eyes, you say the same old stuff over and over again and don't nobody ever come and things never change. And I'm so sorry that she felt that way. I'm even more sorry that um, I felt the need to respond, but I felt like I needed to respond. So I'm going to emphasize that these readings are general. They're not personal although they may sound similar to your energy because you're all Scorpios. Um, you know, you have a lot of the same traits. Uh, that's what being a Scorpio is all about with other Scorpios, but uh, it could be for anyone. And you cannot expect for every single general reading to be about your life, one. And if things are not manifesting in your life, if things are not coming into fruition, why are you blaming the tarot reader? What are you not doing for yourself? You remember, this is an individual walk, although we come together because it's divine purpose, but ultimately, it is an individual walk. You're going to have to manifest and do some things yourself. If you find that your manifesting is not on its highest form, if you find your lack of manifesting here, then it's something that you need to change on the inside of you because you should be looking at things more optimistically if you want things to get better especially coming for a stranger that has nothing to do with your life whatsoever. It's all on you. And I say that from a, from a good place. I say that with, you know, genuine energy, you know, towards who, whomever feel that way or the person who made that comment because, you know, everything is not going to happen. Your life is not amazing in your real life, is it? Not every day. So these cards, although uh, lucky for you, it seems like you're on the good side of karma for the majority of Scorpios. But it seems like a lot of unhealed Scorpios are, are coming in as well and they're not getting the big picture. Just because the readings say your ex is in love with you does not mean it's your ex that's in love with you. Do you know how many of these readings ain't came true for me? I just brush it off and keep it pushing. I find whatever part of that message is for, that I know intuitively that is for me. I receive it and I discard the rest. It's as simple as that. Because, you know, it's, it's not sunshiny in your own life every day. You have to be able to take the rain as well. So moving forward, Scorpio, this is a general reading. We're going to start off with this um, soul connections. When two hearts meet uh, energy here, love oracle cards here. And uh, I hope you guys are doing amazing, Scorpio. I appreciate you guys so much. You're just amazing to me. See, for overall, you Scorpios, you, we vibe together. We're on the same page. You know, we feel the same way. And we know that we have to put in some type of work. I mean, yes, a, a real talk, uh, terror reading is really entertaining. It's really entertainment. But the reality of it is, is that you have to manifest things in your own life. When you cut that button off, when you get off of YouTube, you're in control of your own life, at least you're supposed to be. But your overall energy, Scorpio, is recognition. I saw the six of wands in my pre-shuffle. It says the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. Are you recognizing the signs and the synchronicities and the miracles all around you? And I feel like it's all within the earth. This is the elements of earth. Everything you see is a sign. I think I was walking the other day and, and sometime I just go and, and what I started doing is my trail. I've been taking the hill because I feel like if I go up there one time, that's all I need as opposed to just walking around it the long way. So I be walking it up that hill here lately, but I only go up there one time. And I remember going up that hill and I was like, yeah, dang, whoo, whoo, spirit, is, what, what is, okay. And I'm like, right, you remember brown ash, it's going to be tight when you're going up that end slope, but it's going to, it's going to bear off. But 
I remember uh, walking and I saw the beautifulest, prettiest blue butterfly. It was so beautiful. And it was like it was it was like a little bitty one. I'm like, wow, this is so beautiful. And it flew right past me. And, and and next thing I knew, I was going up that hill. Before I knew I was up that hill, honey. That was a miracle for me. Because it took my mind off of the stress of my body, honey. And it gave me the energy of I can, I will, I did, <laughs> Scorpio. So recognize the energies, recognize the universal language to you. Uh, it's singing to you, it's communicating with you. Do you recognize? Recognize the universe's voice, Scorpio. So this is your overall energy. It's recognition. A lot of you are going to get a lot of recognition as well. Like I say, you might be vic vic very victorious. I feel like if you're really, really working hard. Now, I know that this is about love, but still, I know if you're working very, very hard, you're going to get the recognition that you deserve anyway. And it's not going to come from man's, although it may be used through man, but it's from the universe. It's what you've sown, Scorpio. Ooh, got a jumper. Temptation. Uh-oh, Scorpio. Somebody trying to tempt you. Or are you tempting, Scorpio? It says, think carefully about the situation, Scorpio. Ooh, see? Y'all better think carefully now. Somebody say, oh, that's uh, now of all things, why would it be an ice cream cone? <laughs> oh, Scorpio, somebody may be trying to tempt you with a little licky licky action. I'm just saying, or maybe some of y'all in the licky licky action. Don't come for me. You see the ice cream cone. What, how do you eat the ice cream cone? You ain't gonna get a spoon. Okay, then some type of temptation here. I feel like some temptation is coming your way. But Spirit is already giving you a heads up and said, hold on now. Hold on, Scorpio. I, I know it's nice and plump and juicy and all those good things like that there. <laughs> but think carefully about this situation here. Because I feel like the universe is seeing coincides with this because like the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. If you find yourself in some type of situation where it's extremely tempting, then the universe, I feel like, has already shown you signs or will be showing you, don't do this. Please don't do it. You're going to regret this. Don't give your number. Oh, don't kiss him. Don't talk to him. Don't follow him. I mean, I'm telling you, fellas, it's the same way. Look, now you got union here. It says the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Ooh. Scorpio, somebody, it seems like you got somebody who finna pop up on you looking good, looking beautiful, sexy. You know, it's the holiday and things, Scorpio, summertime. Everybody want to wear the short shorts. You're going to see a lot of prints, a lot of camel toes, a lot of toes, toes. Oh, there's a lot of temptation out here, Scorpio. It says there's something miraculous Event that begins when you least expect it. Oh, Scorpio, you're not expecting this, honey. You're not expecting this temptation to come. But I feel like universe is already preparing you for it. Oh, Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio. Oof, caught it. Ha! I just saw this. Obstacles. It says, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. What kind of obstacles are you facing? See, it's not the storm, Scorpio, because the storms will come. They, they're going to come. It's how you're going to handle the storm. It says look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. See, you're going to have to find or we're going to have to find a place where we can find happiness in just about any situation. I ain't talking about no horrendous situation, okay? Let's look. Come on now. Talking to the, to the mature minded Scorpios. Obstacles. I'm talking about a little, a little cut here, a little bruise there. We ain't talking about no major issues. No, some, some of them obstacles you don't want to deal with now, and that's understandable. But I feel like if you're in a situation now, especially if you're in a love relationship and it seems to be an obstacle, the Spirit is telling you to find a, um, find a way around it towards happiness. And that could be distancing yourself. It could be um, taking the high road, you know, agreeing to disagree. And it could be just walking away, whatever is going to put peace and harmony in your own personal life. Because I feel like loved ones, relationships, or whoever, they should not totally 
steal all of your peace. If something is disrupting your peace, I feel like it shouldn't be there, Scorpio. That's how I feel now. I'm just saying that everybody has their own right will. If, if you consciously know that you're not making me happy and you continue to do it, then maybe we just ain't for each other. That's the same way with Scorpio. If Scorpio ain't doing it for you, don't just hang around and, and still drain. Scorpio, leave Scorpio alone. But most people don't do that. But Spirit is telling you, you can go around this obstacle and still find happiness, Scorpio. Whatever this obstacle may be, there it is. Synchronicity, see? That's the uh, <clears throat> recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles, see? It says a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity here. So it's something like the yin to the yang. Uh, you was thinking about someone and then they, they call you. Or you was thinking about someone and they pop up. Or you was thinking about someone and you run into... Well, you know how you be talking about somebody and say, oh, you just spoke the devil up. It's something like that, but it's going to be because this person is also thinking about you. Queen of Wands is the overall energy over here. See, this is why they're thinking about you. They say, you tempting, Scorpio. They say, shit, man. I'm just saying, Scorpio, tempting. I just want to lick all over, Scorpio. I just want to lick it. <laughs> Y'all don't front. We, we ain't dealing with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands showing up in this overall energy, okay? So this is a very fiery, passionate energy. Very, very confident. Very, very sensual. She's in tune with her sexuality. She got explained for being grown and sexy. Talking about the grown and sexy. <laughs> Scorpio grown and sexy over here. And it took you a lot to get to this energy, Scorpio, and this Queen of Wands energy. So I feel like someone, you may be tempting someone. It could be someone who you may perhaps... It's almost like something is a divine meet. Something is a divine connection. Something is a fated event because it's saying the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So it's almost like something is fated here. Something is fated. And it's like, you know how sometimes you may don't be paying attention and you don't, you know, you don't give all your energy away. You're kind of reserved. Something is going to get your attention for some Scorpios and it's going to be too tempting to pass up while others, you're going to be tempting this divine connection with someone. And if you're going to meet this person at the right time, at the right place, you're going to be looking good. They're going to be, it's just going to seem like the heavens just going to open up and start singing Scorpio. It just seems like something is supposed to happen here. See, true love. That's what it is. See, I knew it. True love comes when you least expect it, then at least expect it again. See, so that's what I'm saying. And I just feel like, and I just feel like everyone should know this, but I guess everyone doesn't understand tarot. True love comes when you least expect it. You cannot hound love. You can't pressure love. You have to let love naturally unfold. And I understand when people are not trying to be rushed into a relationship it seems like the masculines, they don't want to rush and commit, but they're rushing go to bed with you. So I'm just saying, you know, this is going to be unexpected here. When you least expect it, when you stop looking for love, when you stop uh, self-sabotaging it by your words, saying it ain't going to never happen, brown eyes, you just a lie. I'm still lonely. I'm still horny. Where is he, damn it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ooh, I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get my own boo thing, okay? I can't live everybody's life. I'm just a tarot reader, okay? But this is what you're working up to, a true love. It says true love comes when you least expect it, Scorpio. That's what it say. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, that's so sweet. Bun. A love bond grows stronger over time here. I feel like something, like for some of you guys, you're already involved with someone and the bond is growing stro uh, stronger. It's almost like for some of you Scorpios who are already dealing with a new person, not the ex scum of the earth for some, okay? But for, this, for Scorpios who are dealing with a new person here, it's like you you guys are going to fall in love with each other and you're not going to expect it. I feel like you're going to fall into a routine as a couple. 
See, your love bond grows stronger every time, it, uh, over time. See, it's like for some Scorpios, you're about to fall into a relationship easily. Like, like that position was made and created specifically for you. Is you're going to fall into a relationship. You know how you start spending time with someone and you start really enjoying them and they enjoying you? You don't have no need to bust out with the black book. You ain't got no need to look nowhere else. You be content. And what if you find someone who is equally content with you as well? They don't need a third party. They don't need help in the bedroom. They got you and you got them. You continue to be around this person. All thing is going to do is make your bond get stronger. And then you're going to realize, well, shit, we, we, I mean, I got a boo. Well, damn, baby, let's get back. Come on, baby. Why not shit? Because I, I ain't going nowhere. You, uh-uh, you it. I ain't nobody else. It's you. I'm going to die with you, Scorpio. <laughs> you it for me, baby. So you might as well get ready. You Can, can you love me that long, Scorpio? Could you put up with me for that long, Scorpio? Because I could be with you forever, 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 ever. I'm telling you, Scorpio, some of y'all finna find y'all self in a long relationship with your true love. And you're going to be like, ex who? I'm telling you, you're about to fall in love with your true love. And you're going to be like, ex who? Okay? And that's what I see. And you're, underneath the bottom, you got the universe. The universe is guiding you to that special person, Scorpio. Allow everything to take its natural course. See? Didn't I just say some of y'all be hovering over these relationships? Like, well, what's wrong with it? Well, why they ain't came yet, Brown? Well, I want to know what day, what month, the day of the month, what time of the day should I expect this new love? Now, hold on, Brad. What did you say? 1030? Is that 1030 a.m. or p.m.? So what, what color dress should I wear? Should I wear a dress? Should my hair be up or down? <laughs> oh, shit. I'll be like, what, what, what? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the universe is about to knock your socks off, Scorpio. It says the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Stop, relax, just relax. You're not out of time. You're not pressed for time. I know you're lonely. Look, get you a, a hobby, honey. Get you something that's going to keep you busy productively on yourself. Because remember, the thirstier and hungrier you get for another relationship or for another person to bring you any type of happiness, the more clingier you will be to that person. No, let them get to know you. Let them fall in love with you. You're worth it. Give them time to know who you are so, so you know, look, now, this is what it is. Now, yeah, yeah, I got fat ankles. Yeah, yeah, I got a little gut. Yeah, it's a little heaven underneath this gut. Now, don't, don't trip. And they be like, oh, baby, I know it's heaven underneath that stomach. I already know. I take it all. <laughs> Somebody who you know that you're comfortable with, here you lay it out there and you go for it or you walk away. But I feel like some Scorpios is too busy breathing down love back and love like, God dang, can I get 10 feet? God dang, Scorpio, I I'm trying to bring them to you. But if this, are you going to treat them like you're treating me? I mean, gee, if you're doing love like this, how are you going to do your fella? <laughs> so some of y'all need to relax and just know that it's happening. The universe is guiding you towards the person who is right for you. You don't even have to do nothing. I'm telling you, those bachelor, when you least expect it, you got all these when you least expect this. You got all these when you least expect this coming on, so you don't have to worry about nothing. They are here. They're in this world, and they're ready for you when you become ready. And those for those who feel like a terror reader got to drop them off of a person, okay? Instead of them, you know, trusting the universe and manifesting themselves here. So let's pull... Your tarot cards, because this ain't going to be too long. Like I said, Scorpio, you got this Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. I feel like you are a temptation here. I feel like you are a temptation to somebody, and somebody could be wanting to temptate you. Temp, temptate you. <laughs> somebody want to tempt you. This Queen of Wands, you know you tempting to them. They said, damn, I'm not used to Scorpio being hot and issy. Scorpio acting like a 
bitch, but I love it. I mean, damn, I'm used to Scorpio all lovey-dovey all over me and things, but now Scorpio won't even look in my direction, dude. What the hell up? But I'm digging it. I can't look away. What it? Maybe it's that black cat she got. I don't know, but it's something that's driving me crazy. Make me want to lick on some things here. Lick her like an ice cream cone. Lick Scorpio male like an ice cream cone till they drip all down my hand. And then I lick on the hand too because I attract nasty freaks like that. Scorpio, who you... <laughs> You attract the nasty freaks like that. You, you didn't even know that, did you? Well, I'm just telling you, you're attracting nasty freaks like that. So let's sit you right here, right here, smack dab in the middle. It's Queen of Wands, which is Scorpio's energy. All right, Spirit, who is coming to a Scorpio? Oof. Too many cards, Scorpio. Too many cards. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio. And she got a little belly button showing, got a little cleavage all out, ooh, got a little toes all painted and shit. <laughs> she, she's very provocative. I feel like Scorpio is in that temptation energy. You tempting folks and you just loving it because it's giving you, a, it's, it's, build, it's boosting your, your ego. It's boosting your ego. You can, you can have a little ego about yourself every once in a while. Especially if you done been broke down and had to heal. God dang. If anybody needs to <laughs> flaunt their ego every once in a while, it's Scorpio. Oof. All right, Spirit. What's going on with Scorpio here? They flying out. What you got to talk about? Let's see who's coming towards you, Scorpio. Now, we know you got a faded event here, the Ten of Wands. We ain't taking it. We ain't got no birds over here. Unless you got somebody that's got a burden going on, overloaded. And if you are overloaded, I feel like it's, it's, it's sexual energy. Ooh, there they go again. Now, here we go with this. It's something about that queen of wands and that king of pentacles. See? Ah, Scorpio, you got somebody who want to spend money on you. Someone who loves how beautiful and attractive you are. You are a temptation to them. Uh, and this could very well be a true love to you, Scorpio. But this is someone... It's almost like you, ooh, Scorpio. I feel like this will be a good connection. It's almost like whatever Scorpio wants, Scorpio can have, cause Big Daddy gonna take care of it. Ah, he, ooh, snap! But then we got you. Now, where you come from, the Queen of Cups? Ooh, Scorpio. So now we got the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So you know we're going to have to clarify that. What that be about, Scorpio? Oh, Spirit, show me what's going on with Scorpio, Spirit. Who's coming towards Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know and be made aware of? Spirit, show me. They go that Ten of Wands. It wanted to come out, didn't it? Well, there you go. Are you happy? So somebody is a burden here, Scorpio. Or someone has a burden here. Look. Sis, tell you, somebody is watching you. Now, this person could be looking at you in the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands energy, Scorpio. They could be looking at you like, damn, what is, it's like, it's like you're, you too, you know, like they say, you're a lady in the streets and the freak in the, uh, uh, freak in the sheets. Because you, if this is your energy, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups, unless you got a third party here. There is a burden, but somebody is watching you, Scorpio. This King of Pentacles is watching you. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, you never, never disappoint, dude. Look, somebody trying to come towards you with that cancer energy, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Someone wants to talk to you, it seems like. Somebody wants to talk to you, Scorpio. Let me clarify these real quick, Scorpio. This thing got too juicy. I don't know, I already clarified this deck, Scorpio. Look underneath the bottom of this, you got the five of cups. Now, what's up with this five of cups? Why are you here? All right, somebody's regretting something here, Scorpio. Now, this could be another energy. It could be the same King of Pentacles here. So, let's see. All right, Spirit. So, what's up with this? What's up with this Queen of Cups energy? Who is this? This Queen of Cups, Scorpio. What is this about? All these, both of these queens and this king. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the world card. 
So it could have been at a distance here or a cycle ended with the, with the Queen of Cups, which is your energy. But a new opportunity is coming your way. It could be someone coming from another place, another region, another, uh, you know, place, another state, wherever. <laughs> they could be coming from across the world, you know, across the water. But I feel like someone is coming to you, traveling to you. Now, you could be traveling towards a new beginning, Scorpio. With this Queen of Cups, the World card, and the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you Scorpios, you may have landed a new job somewhere else and you're traveling here. Ooh, Scorpio. But for as far as love is concerned, it's like someone may wants to start, have a new beginning with you. Or the universe is giving another opportunity with someone that may be traveling towards you. You got the Chariot card, so there is some movement towards you, Scorpio. The Emperor, snap, Aries energy. So you got a ball, Scorpio. Ooh, you got a father figure. This person could have children. Ooh, so it's like this Emperor is coming for that cup, Scorpio. They're coming to start over. They're coming to present an opportunity to start something new. Maybe work on something, a business here. Now, you may be the Empress in this thing, Scorpio. Now, let's see about this Queen of Wands. Now, what's up with this Queen of Wands for Scorpio Spirit? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Clarify Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is the Knight of Pentacles. See? Some, somebody trying to come. See, I told somebody want to pay you. <laughs> the King of Pentacles said it ain't tricking if you got it, though, Scorpio. They said it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Don't, don't, don't worry about nothing. I got this. So this Knight of Pentacles is slow, but it is very, very stable and reliable here. This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy with this Knight of Pentacles here. They're coming this with to, now it could be the same energy from the Emperor that's coming in to make you an offer unless this is someone else coming into a different energy that someone else see you with. Now you could have multiple people coming in to you, Scorpio. And all types of energies that they see in you. Someone coming in because they want the emotional side of Scorpio. Someone coming in to spend some money or someone coming in to offer something stable and reliable towards something more committed because they're attracted to you. They see you as a temptation here. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles for this Queen of Wands spirit. What is this about? Ooh, snap. Two of Cups. So I feel like this is the same person. It's just that this is how they see you. So it's almost like you're in this Empress energy, Scorpio. Ooh. Four of Pentacles. Somebody look at you like you're holding back, though, Scorpio. I feel like with this Queen of Wands, somebody's coming in, and I feel like the reason why it's a, it's a stable offer, but they're coming in because they love you. And for some of y'all, y'all love this person. This is a soulmate here, and I feel like it's the same person, but you're holding back. I feel like you're going to hold back from this person, Scorpio. Who, or maybe this person is holding on to you. But somebody's coming in to make you an offer with this Knight of Pentacles. And it could be the same one because after all, this Knight of Pentacles is coming in to bring you something. Maybe they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe they're the same, the Emperor that's traveling in from out of state, out of country. Because you got the King of Pentacles. I feel like it's money somewhere around here now. Clarify this King of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Clarify the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here. So this King of Pentacles, I don't feel like now, maybe for some of y'all, this person may feel like they missed an opportunity with you or you won't accept their offer because after all, with this Four of Pentacles, you could be very well holding back from someone. You could be holding back from this person, this Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. You could be holding back from this person because of something. I don't know what. Clarify this four of cups for this king of pentacles. What is this about? So all they do is watch you, Scorpio. Ooh, because they want to come. You got the chariot and the eight of one. They want to talk to you, Scorpio. And I feel like some of y'all may be holding back from this person, but they just want to talk to you, Scorpio. They want to talk or they want to come to you because you got the chariot and you got this eight of wands. 
Oh, Scorpio. What what happened? What happened? Clarify this eight of wands for the king of pentacles. Lay some shit to rest so that you pull your energy back from this person. I feel like you laid to, who, whoever this king of pentacles was, maybe you laid it to rest with this person. Maybe they're married, Scorpio. It's almost like you got your wealthy married person here and you may have distanced yourself from this person. You, you started holding back from this person now. For some of y'all, you could have two different people in here. I feel like, but I just feel like it's coincide with, with what's going on here. I feel like you're holding back. You're holding back from someone that you laid it to rest. You ended something with. Now, with this King of Pentacles, I feel like this King of Pentacles may have been in a relationship, but you could say the same thing about the Emperor. So, see, because with the Queen of Wands, someone is coming in to offer you, they're your soulmate, but you're going to hold back or you're holding back. The same thing with the Queen of Pentacles. See, folks are steady coming in, bringing stuff. See? With this Queen of Wands, you got the Knight, the Knight of... Um, the Knight of Pentacles, and with this Queen of Cups, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So I would have to say for some of y'all, it is the same person here. It's just that there's a person, they may have children, they're with, I feel like they're a business owner, they do very good for themselves financially, but I feel like maybe they're already attached to some other situation, and I feel like you don't want to be a part of that. And this world card could even represent that a cycle completed. It could be that you've completed a cycle with this king of pentacles and now you have a new beginning coming in with this emperor. See, it could be like that too. Let me pull some more cards, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. See the justice. Some of y'all dealing with the Libra here. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Show me some more energy for Scorpio spirit. What's going on with Scorpio? Seven of pentacles. Leo, some of y'all dealing with the Leo. Oof. And they go to Ten of Pentacles again, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm -mm. There go the lover's card, Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, a Gemini. Now, it looks like somebody got a choice to make, I feel like, Scorpio. Somebody watching you, though. Someone wants to release a burden here. Now, this burden... Let me see what this burden is. Who wants to release this burden? What is this Ten of Wands about? What is this Ten of Wands? Some of y'all want to release this, this soulmate connection with this person. What is this Ten of Wands about, Spirit? Clarify this Ten of Wands. <laughs> ten of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Wands, Scorpio. <laughs> they say they burdens got burdens, Scorpio. <laughs> Shit, this ain't a freaking burns got burns. God dang. Woo, that's a lot. Clarify the ten of wands and the ten of wands for Scorpio Spirit. Why is this here? The king of swords because someone has been reserved or someone is trying to, someone has to, it's like, clarify the king of swords. We're dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because somebody's in love with you, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, with that King of Cups. There go the Queen of Cups. Somebody in love with you, Scorpio. I feel like you could very well have more than one person in here. But someone is trying to release a burden because I feel like their love is pushing them towards you, Scorpio. Oof. Well, let me see what they're watching. What are you? Uh, give me another. Give me another card for this King of Cups for this Ten of Wands. Give me some more information for this King of Cups spirit. Page of Pentacles. See, they ain't got much though, Scorpio. <laughs> they want to do something for you, but it's small, Scorpio. Maybe this is an icebreaker. Maybe this is just to get you to engage with them because you're holding back from them. 
So maybe they feel like if they can just get you out, then you'll open up more to them with this little bitty page, Scorpio. So what are they watching when they watch Scorpio in this page of swords, Spirit? What, 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 is, what are they trying to find out in this page of swords? Clarify this page of swords. Snap, 4-1. They trying to see if you got somebody. Here we go with this. Now, this person, they don't necessarily have to be watching you. They could be watching a tarot reader. Like I said, how else are they going to get information if they're investigating something? If they're not investigating your post, if they're not inv investigating your, your social media post, or how else are they going to know about your personal life unless they're asking around about you? But it seems like your person trying to find out, are you in a committed relationship? Do you have someone? Are you serious, Scorpio? And like I said, they could be binge watching tarot readings and, and trying to find out about you. Clarify this four of wands for this page of swords. Eight of wands again, Scorpio. So they may be trying to see what did, did you move forward? Or, or maybe they're saying, damn, they happen fast. <laughs> For some of y'all person, they saying, damn, Scorpio hooked up with that person fast. Well, damn, I thought you was in love with me. I thought you was healing. <laughs> well, it didn't take it long to heal, did it? <laughs> and it could be they're watching you to see if you're going to communicate something. It's, I feel like they want to move forward with this with you, but I feel like they're trying to find out what your status is, Scorpio. Clarify this eight of wands for this page of swords. What are they trying to find out, Spirit? The Hierophant. See, they trying to see if you got somebody. Oh, Scorpio, somebody trying to find out if you in a relationship with somebody else, Scorpio. That's what they spying, looking asses is doing, Scorpio. Because, see, you done laid they ass to rest, Scorpio. You holding back from them, and I feel like they're doing everything they can to get to you. Now, I feel like this could be a new opportunity coming your way with this world card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I feel like this other energy is how someone is trying to come to you from your past, but I feel like this is new over here with the Emperor because you got that Ace of Pentacles that say so. Now, Scorpio, now that, that Emperor probably want to lay it down with the Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to move forward in this chariot energy or perhaps come visit you. Somebody may be trying to come visit you. See, look, see, they may be looking at you. They're probably like, look, Scorpio got a pretty, pretty house now. I want to come see Scorpio and talk about a relationship. See? <laughs> Oh, somebody about to lose their freaking mind now, Scorpio. Somebody with they looking ass and found out some shit. Or they're trying to find out. That's what I feel like they're trying to find out if you moved. Or with this high fin, I feel like they're trying to find out have you moved in with somebody. Or have you moved on in a committed relationship? I feel like this is what it is. Have you moved on to a committed relationship? And they like, damn, that didn't take long. I thought you had to heal. I thought our Scorpios were self-healing. <laughs> well, you never loved me in the first place. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, this what it is. This what it is. These two, the King of Pentacles coming towards the Queen of Wands is the energy of someone from your past. The Queen of Cups. It's you after you've ended a cycle with the past. Now you have an opportunity coming your way with this Ace of Pentacles with this Emperor Scorpio. But I, and you ended something with a soulmate, but I feel like you got another soulmate coming in with this lover's card, Scorpio. And like the cards say, when you least expect it, something going to catch you by surprise. And I feel like because it's all a part of divine time and with this wheel of fortune, things are going to turn out in your favor. I feel like you ended a cycle with a soulmate and now you're going to start a new one with a new soulmate. So let's continue, Scorpio. That's what I feel like. That's what it is. That's what it is, honey. Now let's see about this chariot card. What's up with this chariot? Now, let's see what strength about. Who, who needs courage? Somebody need courage or someone needs to, trying to hold themselves back. Because you remember, you got temptation here. I Like I said, I feel like in, they looking at you in this Queen of Wands energy, looking at you like you're a temptation. And the strength card is someone who tries to hold themselves back. And the only way I can feel like someone tries to hold themselves back is somebody who 
is in a committed relationship with someone else. I feel like you may have ended with them, but they still want you because you're a temptation to them, but they're still attached somewhere else. So they try to fight their urges to come back, but you've already, you're holding back and you've laid that shit to rest. And now you've completed that cycle. Now you got a new beginning here with an emperor here. It could be an Aries. So clarify the strength card for Scorpio. It could be a Leo. Strength card is clarified by the tower card. Look at the tower card again. Aries energy. Something that you don't see coming. An epiphany, a realization here. Now, what is the realization about strength, spirit? That maybe this person couldn't hold themselves back, Scorpio, or that they can't hold back any longer. Or I bet the realization, Scorpio, was that they done fell in love with that outside kitty. That's for those who know your person was married. They done fell in love with that outside person, Scorpio, which is some of y'all are the outside person. This could be this realization. They like, damn, I'm trying to hold myself back because I must be feeling something. <laughs> Clarify the tower for strength, Spirit. What is this about? Two major arcanas. Clarify the tower for strength. Six of cups. That's what they realize. That 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 could that's the other soul may see. Oh my gosh. Now see, for some of y'all, it could be that this when you least expect it could be your counterpart. Now, this isn't always a person from this life. This could just be a spiritual soulmate connection that's coming back to complete a cycle, to complete their 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 uh their contract with you. This soul connection, this this person, this 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 faded event. It could be a Leo, it could be an Aries, it could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces here. But I feel like somebody, now, if it's for somebody, clarify the Six of Cups. Let me get another card, Scorpio. Look, there go that page of swords again. They just looking with they looking asses. Clarify the Six of Cups. The King of Pentacles, that his ass go again. So now I get it. That's why I was finna say, that's why I got that. Okay, so with the Six of Cups, this person is realizing for whoever this is. Now, for, like I say, for some of y'all, this person don't even have to be married. I feel like they building a life with somebody because that's what the King of Pentacles do. They're usually, uh, you know, you know, they usually take care of the home, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Earth energy. That's, that's what they do. And, you know, they're usually married here because they got the Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel like you laid it to rest. You're holding back from this person. You ended a cycle with this person, but this person's trying to come back to you. They've been trying not to with the strength card. They've been trying to hold themselves back. I'm telling you, they have. They've been trying to hold back, but the realization came in is that, God damn, I done fucking fell in love with Scorpio ass with her sexy, uh, his sexy ass. I done fell in love. And all I want to do is just do things for Scorpio. Ooh. Because, see, this is the only new energy I feel. This is your new person. This is, so far, this is your old person who you don't walked away from. You see, the old energy uses more stronger because they got to plead their case. See, the new energy, they don't have that time invested to do all of that. Not like the older person do. That's why they show up so much because they know you. A, a new person, they ain't going to want to push it too hard. Now, they will come, but... They don't want to come off as a, as a weirdo. So they usually back down. They be like, well, damn, Scorpio ain't into me. And they just cut their losses. But an old person, they're not going to just easily walk away. And if they do, they, they have to be more uh, comfortable in coming back because they didn't invest it with you. They know they know personal shit about you. So like I said, this person, which is still the King of Pentacles, the same King of Pentacles over here, that's um, not happy. They're not happy because I feel like I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They're not happy. I feel like anytime they get unhappy in whatever situation they're in, then they want to reach out and talk to you. But I feel like you're not available for this person anymore. I feel like you laid it to rest. You're not available. That's why you're holding back. So the same person, they want to come back to you. Even though I feel like you left them, I feel like they're trying to get you back. And what this King of Pentacles is realizing is that they're in love with you. That they're in love with you, Scorpio. They didn't fell in love with the outside kitty. Now, what's up with this chariot for Scorpio? Ace of Cups. See, somebody trying to come to you. Now, either it's an old person or a new person, but this is a new beginning in love. 
So this could very well be from this emperor here. Could be a cancer, could be an Aries. Because like I said, I feel like someone, you ended a cycle, but I also feel like someone is traveling in to see you. You got a lot of, you got the eight of wands twice. So there's a lot of fast moving energy in here. And I feel like it's coming towards you. But I feel like this new beginning is with someone new since it is the Ace of Cups. Here, clarify the Ace of Cups for the chariot. Ace of Cups is clarified by death. Ooh, so there was an ending to something or there was a rebirth to something. Somebody's coming back for a rebirth to something. Ooh. They're trying to offer their cup to Scorpio. Look. <laughs> See? This is what it was. This is somebody who you ended it with. But they asked coming right back. See? <laughs> Oh, I feel like this. you've been waiting on this person to move forward from some shit, but they come and you can't stop them. See? You even got the death card, and after the death, you got the chariot again. This is a persistent energy coming towards you, Scorpio. I feel like it's the person from your past. It's two of cups here, the one who you holding back from. They're trying to get to you, Scorpio, because they've had this realization or this epiphany because you know they're trying to come back to you with the six of cups. They, they had some real major shit that went on in, in, internally with them. So let's see what this Seven of Pentacles is about. And then this Ten of Pentacles. And then we're going to wrap this up, Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Somebody been manifesting something. Maybe it's you, Scorpio. Maybe you've been waiting for something to come. Look, the Queen of Pentacles. See? Some of y'all been manifesting being the queen of pentacles. So for some of y'all, I feel like y'all were with this king of pentacles waiting on them to get their shit together. For some of y'all, Scorpio, this person was promising you that they were going to be with you. And I feel like you was like, damn, I've been waiting around for you. I invested seven, day, seven weeks, seven months, seven years waiting on you to, to make me Mrs. Pentacles. Shit. And you've been manifesting this too. Some of y'all, y'all was waiting on this person, Scorpio, because y'all wanted to be Mrs. Pentacles because they were already with somebody. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. This is why you finally left it alone. Three of Cups. You waiting to be able to go out and hang out with this person. And for some of y'all, y'all been waiting on, just y'all being able to hang out, but it's still Three Cups, though. Now clarify this Ten of Pentacles here. See? This king of pentacles, whoever this person is in this king of pentacles from your past, is not letting you go. They're holding on to you. Even though you've ended it, you've laid it to rest, you're holding back from this person. You're upgrading your life. You're moving forward. A lot of beautiful things are coming your way. And you even got a new love coming your way. But this old person ain't going nowhere, Scorpio. They ain't going nowhere. You got the cherry card over the death card. So they like, yeah, I know it's over, but I'm coming back for the rebirth. What's up? I thought you said you needed a break. I ain't know you were serious. <laughs> so you could have took a break with this four swords. So th this is probably why they coming back so forceful. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Three of Swords. See, told you this person was already with somebody. I just knew it. This is what it is. This person was already in a long-term relationship and y'all, somebody was waiting on them to get their shit together. Waiting to become Mrs. Pentacles. Broke your heart when you found out this person was in a relationship or married or that this person wasn't going to leave their wife because this person probably was telling you that they were stuck because them and their household was about the family business. They had to keep working together here. They work with them. Clarify this three of swords for Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords, see? This person had to have you. They was winning at all costs. They were ma manipulating you. They were manipulating you. And I don't mean to trigger you, Scorpio. It's not to trigger you. So, you know, my apologies. But you got to be mature about this. This person was manipulative. They had money, too. They were manipulating you. They didn't have to have you, Scorpio. They already had a whole life, a luxury. They didn't need to pull you in there, too. But this is why you're holding back from their ass and you got you an emperor, on standby now, Scorpio. Clarify five of swords. 
See, that three of pentacles, see? Three of pentacles, there's too many threes in here. You got the three, three of swords, three of pentacles, three of cups. See, this person had you and whoever else they were with. But I feel like you wanted to be in a serious relationship with this person because they're showing up as the king of pentacles. You wanted to be the queen of pentacles. But I feel like they had you waiting, Scorpio, till you got tired of waiting and you moved on. I feel like you moved on and now you have another opportunity coming your way. The queen of cups, you self-loving yourself, see? You self-loving. This is why this person, you, everybody looking at you in different energies, though. You're the queen of ones because you are this confident energy. That's why they tempt. They, they feel like you are a temptation to them, but they don't have anything to offer you. And it's still the same king of pentacles. They'll spend money, but they, they're still going to hold on to all this other shit that they got going on. This is your soulmate here. But as far as them really investing, it's the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be waiting just like you were in the Seven of Pentacles. And, and, and since you laid it to rest and you moved on, I feel like this person's been having a fit. They watching you. They, they, they think that you'd have moved on in another relationship. And I be God dang because here's one right here, the Queen of Cups with the World card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. For some of you guys, you have moved on from them to somebody else. And for some of you, you haven't, and this is what they want with you. But ultimately, I feel like this person don't have nothing to offer you, but just keep you on the side. They just going to keep you on the side. See, this person needs to make up their mind. That's why you got the lover's card and the two of swords, but they not going to make up their mind. They're going to act like it ain't no problem because they got to take care of home. They got to take care of home, but they're going to keep you alone if you let them. But I feel like you've already dropped it. Now you can really experience true love with this emperor here. And it's going to be a by chance thing. It's going to be something that you least expect your emotions to fall for this new person here. It seems like your old person's realizing that they're in love with you too. But I don't feel like they're your true love. I feel like they could be a, they're your cult, a, a soulmate. This is why you feel that connection, but they may ne not necessarily be your true love. I feel like since the true love came out, this new beginning is going to be with this emperor, someone who calls the shots. Uh, it could be a father figure, very, very wise, could be wiser than their age. It could be a younger, wiser person here. They could be a fire sign here. You know, I feel like they're very financially stable. They're mature minded. They know what they want, but they like to run shit. It's because I feel like this person calls the shot in their life. But I feel like they're looking for someone to be serious about because they're showing up with the queen of cups, not the queen of wands. They're looking for emotional fulfillment. While your person who over here who was already in a relationship, they was looking for sexual fulfillment. This is why you got temptation. You've always been a temptation to this person. Now I feel like they're trying to come back in the six of cups and tempt you again with big daddy money. See? But spirits say think what it say. It says, think carefully about the situation. Think carefully about the situation because it seems like Big Daddy going to try to come in here and try to, you know, pop that shit off about what they want to do for you because they want some more of that good-ass Scorpio loving. But they're not going to leave who they're with because they got too much money invested. This is the Ten of Pentacles. They're the King of Pentacles. Just saying. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be a Leo. Could be a Cancer. Could be an Aries. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Gemini. Could be anyone. But this is what I have for you, Scorpio. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell, leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.